Hi everybody, we're getting ready for our next knit along and so I wanted to start this off with how to do a tubular cast on. Uh, there's a link for a Pearl Soho one, but that one didn't work for me as well because it felt unnatural. But I noticed that it looked a lot like a provisional cast on without the provision. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did it that seemed to work out really well and give the same result. So I'm going to go ahead and put on, make my little slip knot and you'll have long tail. And so you'll want to do your estimation for how many stitches you should be casting on. And I've got my uh, tail in front. And when you do the initial part, you take the two strands, you put your fingers in and spread them, and then you grip the rest down here. So you end up with this really cool little diamond shape. So what I do is I hold this, uh, the slip knot, and then I go middle, under, all the way around, and through. And that puts two stitches on. Okay, ready? Middle, under, all the way around, and through. And you can see here how it's got this little ridgy bit down here at the bottom. Uh, middle, under, all the way around, and through. Middle, under, all the way around, and through. And you just keep going until you cast on enough stitches. Middle, under, all the way around, and through. And they should start to come up in pairs. So we'll give our initial one with the slip knot, and then, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 stitches. You'll end up with an odd number, which is exactly what you want for this pattern. Middle, under, all the way around, and through. And I am not doing any pulling over here with these two fingers. I am just holding. Middle, under, all the way around, and through. And it is just naturally making that little ridge at the bottom, just like with a provisional cast on. Middle, under, all the way around, and through. Middle, under, all the way around, and through. And I am just straightening out the line. I'm not doing anything other than that. Middle, under, all the way around, and through. The way you twist this actually makes these little bumps at the bottom. Middle, under, all the way around, and through. Middle, under, all the way around, and through. Okay, now I've gotten to the point where I've got a decent tail and I was just going to give an example. I've already cast mine on. So uh, let's count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. That's about what I was hoping to shoot for. I've been pretty good at nailing this one. Okay, then you turn the work around. And if you look, when you do this, you'll see that uh, this last stitch is just almost like a yarn over. So what you want to do is take your tail and hold it forward and take your working yarn because you're going to knit the first stitch when you're going back the other way. So this cast on takes three uh, rows in order to complete because we're going to knit the first stitch and that's why you're holding the tail because you need to make that loop and then knit the first stitch move the yarn to the front and then do you see how that looks like it has a bump there so it almost looks like a purl stitch you're going to slip that one move the yarn to the back knit yarn to the front slip Move it to the back, knit, yarn to the front, slip, yarn to the back, knit, yarn to the front, and you always want to keep checking on your ridge, make sure that it's not getting twisted, slip, yarn to the back, knit, Yarn to the front, 
slip, yarn to the back, knit, yarn to the front, slip, yarn to the back, knit, yarn to the front, slip, yarn to the back, knit, yarn to the front, slip, yarn to the back, knit, yarn to the front, slip. Most of us had to keep the mantra going in our heads because if you forget, you accidentally purl one, it's not a big deal. It just make it, might make it a little lumpier on the bottom. So not as pretty of a, a tubular cast on. Yarn to the back, knit. Yarn to the front, slip. Yarn to the back, knit. Okay, so now I'm at this point, I'm gonna straighten out all my stitches again. Okay, now this is the third part of the tubular cast on, so I'm gonna turn my, my fabric again. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so this looks like a purl stitch. So what I'm gonna do is slip it, take my live yarn, move it to the front, and knit. So what we're doing now is we're knitting all of those stitches we just slipped. So yarn to the front and slip. See how it looks like a purl stitch? Yarn to the front knit, yarn to the back, slip, yarn to the front, knit, yarn to the back, slip, yarn to the front, knit, yarn to the back, slip, yarn to the front, knit, yarn to the back, slip, Knit, slip, knit, slip. I almost borrowed that one. Knit, slip, knit, slip. Knit, slip, knit, slip, knit, slip. Okay, so when you turn it back around, you can see how it made that really pretty, it, it looks like a provisional cast on, but it's not provisional. So that is the tubular cast on, and it makes that really cool effect down there at the bottom. And what that's going to do is it really allow your your uh, your rib down at the bottom to have a very nice, very stretchy uh, cast on base. So it won't have that rigid edge. Okay. The main difference between the way that the Pearl Soho video showed and the way that I just did it is I am going to start with a knit. So I will be starting with a wrong side row. It is not going to matter as you are gonna rib for however many, however much distance, one inch or 2.25 inches. So let me show you what that ends up looking like. I have, this is the, the front, so I have the one inch here and I did my first knit row on this one um, and you can see how awesome that little tubular cast on looks because it just flexes so nicely and then here's the 2.25 inches and several of us have actually done the front first uh, with the one inch uh, to, to just kind of give us a, a heads up as to how many rows we would need to do for the back side.
and I did mine both at the same time on 40 inch. I left the first ball attached to the one inch and uh, I went back and or when I finished the 2.25 inch for the back side, I cut the end like it suggested. And there will be another video for connecting the two sides.